Hi guys, welcome back. It's good to be with you guys again. Today, we are going to learn more about the order and organization that God is teaching his people. Do you guys remember one of the things we learned about last week? A special order and organization that God put in to keep us from being distracted? Good memory. It's called fasting. Did you guys fast last week? How did it go? Awesome. Today we're going to be learning about the opposite of fasting. We're going to be learning about something called feasting. Now this is another organization, another order, another important thing that God incorporated into the life of this big family. Have you guys ever been to a feast before? We don't really call it feasts anymore, but think about what Christmas is like for you. Do you have a big Christmas breakfast or a big Christmas feast with a turkey and potatoes and all these sides, a table full of food? Well, some of us have that. Do you guys have that at Easter where you have a, you, your family comes over and you celebrate Easter together? These are some examples of feasts that we do in our day. Feasts are really important to God. Feasts are really special. Celebrating and gathering with the people that we love, that's important to God and he knows that it's good for us. So he incorporated a rhythm of fasting for his big family. And that's what we're gonna learn about today, feasting. Okay, tell me when your birthday is. Shout it out at me. Birthdays are super special days in the year, aren't they? Your birthday special, your mom or dad's birthday special, maybe your brother or sister. Birthdays are a lot of fun. And this is a good example of a celebration. And these were, this is sort of like what the feasts were like for the Israelites or this big family. So God put in place seven special feasts. And you know what they did at these feasts? They ate a lot. They did special ceremonies. They ate a lot. <laughs> Yes, they did a lot of feasting and eating, but they also told stories. Do you guys like it when someone tells you a story, a really good story? Or when someone reads you a book that has a great story in it? Well, that's what they did and that's what God told them to do. He said, tell them the stories of how I rescued you from Egypt. Tell them the stories about who I am and what happened to you guys so you never forget. And that was one of the purposes of having these feasts is for us to hear the stories and for the people to tell their kids and remind each other about these stories while they're partying and having a good time together. So if we open our Bibles to Leviticus, remember we learned about Leviticus, that's the third book, big number 23. Now we're gonna put a sticker in there of a lot of food because food is a feast and in this chapter we learn all about the different kinds of feasts the seven different kinds of feasts that god put in order or rhythm for the people to remember now i'm going to tell you about one of these feasts well i'm going to tell you about two the first one is a regular one it happens every week have you guys heard of something called the sabbath yeah so six days we work and on the seventh day we don't work and we, we set it apart and we make it special and we rest. That's one and that's an important one for us to remember. That's important for us to do. Another one that they did is called the Feast of Tabernacles. Now we haven't talked about tabernacles yet. We will talk about the tabernacle but this was a feast where the whole community went camping. Isn't that awesome? Have you guys ever been camping before? It's super fun, isn't it? I love camping. 
So this feast, I just think, wow, that sounds like so much fun. The whole family packed up, moved outside of their tents and camped outside for a whole week together. And they just had fun and they remembered what God had done for them. Isn't that awesome? Each of the feasts helped them remember God and what God had done for them. So I wonder, would it be fun if you guys could plan a feast for your family this week? I wonder if you could think about a special food that you could have. I wonder if you could plan a fun game that you don't usually play. And I wonder if you guys could tell stories about what God has done for you, about who God is, about how much you love God and how important he is. And wouldn't that be really fun? So I'd love you guys to plan a feast for your family this week and see how it goes. And I wonder if this is something that you guys could do regularly to remember God and remember how awesome he is. That's the end of our lesson today. That was our lesson on feasting. Last week was fasting. This week was feasting. Next week, we're going to be learning more about this order and organization that God made for his family to get them ready to be a people for the promised land. Have a good week, guys. Bye.